a little while ago, so that oh, well, also worked out for me too. So good. Indeed. Oh uh, boy. Excellent. Mm. How funny. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Um. Are either of you able to connect to Vassal? Yeah. We're. Back. And I'm in there with him. All right. I'm. I'm going to go ahead and. Pop off and reload the machine here and see if it feels better. Um, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Good. Oh, you scurvy dog, you. <laughs> yeah. Why is it called Mount Vernon? What's the, the significance? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep them guessing, right? Yes, I can. That is very strange. So your Ardworth or Ardwolf thing is going to be this week on the seventeenth, right? Testing, testing, one, two, three. I All hear right. you. Yeah, well I'm I, I know you can hear me, but now I can see can I you can see? still hear you. Yep, yep, yep. 
Okay. Yeah, we were... Your audio keeps going out. Huh. Okay. Um, so people out in the YouTube universe, can you hear me better now? Can you hear me at all? I'll wait a few seconds for you to type in reply. Works now. Okay. Yeah. So um, apparently I just had one of the settings in the uh, streaming software had the audio input turned off. <laughs> so now that it's working, we should be in good shape. All right. Cool. Yeah. So, well, then I will say your voice is now audible. So, William, what I was saying before when you couldn't hear me was my condolences to you and your family for the loss of your brother-in-law. Um, and I hope that you are staying healthy up in beautiful Kitchener, Ontario. And thanks for tuning in for another live stream. So... All right, all we need now is to get Michael to get his computer fixed and we will be in good shape. Um, so yeah, getting back to what we were talking about, uh, you should take whatever activations you need to get your forces wherever they need to go. Um, my stuff is not in a big hurry since I can't cross the river for a little bit. Will do. We will continue down our road here and whatever. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see why I can't find the book. I can get to there. All right. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what to do with this artillery, if it made sense for me to have some of it unlimbered over our here and use it to fire. But, I mean, I've got a range, but out here, to a certain extent, it's not going to do any damage to anybody. What's your experience with artillery fire in this game, David? Um, well, I, in Monmouth, it wasn't very effective, but that's because all, during all the heat turns, when we were actually in range of each other, my artillery was, well, all of our artillery was halved. Oh, because of the sort of heat exhaustion kind of stuff going on? You're right. Uh, well, so I don't think was, we have that going on in this rule yeah. set. Yeah, because I was kind of thinking, well, does it make sense for me to set up artillery over here and and shell him a little bit? Um, Where? Well, like Mark over here at Chad's Ferry. So there's a couple of hexes there that I could have a line of sight across the creek or across the the river or the stream to uh, to some of his units over there. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, just given how long it's going to take, I guess. Uh, Kind of some open ground there. Let's see what's he, he's got a little bit of artillery looking down that road, doesn't he? He does. I don't know that his stuff, well, his field artillery is about as good as mine. It looks like it has the same capabilities. So, but I thought, okay, it's worth trying at least. But most of his stuff is some ways away. So even if I set it up here, let's see, it's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, a range of eight. It's going to be times two. So that's going to be, well, I've got four. So it's going to be eight to, what is the? I see Michael in the vassal. Good. I thought I heard him come um, into Discord. Yeah. Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, boy, um, I don't know what the problem was. I reloaded the machine and it wanted no part of it. And I'm kind of worried that maybe the corporate IT group finally figured out what I do on Sunday nights with the corporate computer. <laughs> I see. And they're hacking into it. Well, there you just dropped again. Has he been dropping up until now? No, he hasn't. He actually had a setting that uh, he was working on, and I see his light going on, but I do not hear anything. Who's that? Oh, you. Okay. Oh, that's there you. You, you yeah. dropped for a minute. Oh, yeah. I just, I just yeah. stopped speaking is all. Okay. Oh, is that it? It is a subtle difference. A likely story. A yes. likely story. Well, they couldn't okay. hear me. They couldn't hear me in in YouTube land because one of oh. the settings on the streaming software um, had gotten turned off. So once I fixed mm. that, uh, they could hear me. Now they might regret letting me know about that. Uh, you know, Indeed, it could Indeed. be that yeah. the be whole, careful what the you whole, wish for. exactly the whole process. The whole thing could have made a lot more sense just listening to you guys and not to me. So possibly so, possibly so. All right. All right. So we are at the beginning of 440, and if memory serves, 440 changes nothing about my units that are free. Uh, next turn, all the units north of the Brinton Ford Road will be able to move. Um, and then I guess the restriction is immediately limited, lifted for an individual unit or leader if an enemy unit moves within eight hexes of that unit or leader. So that's interesting because that's that that means literally immediately, as opposed to at the beginning of the next turn. Right. Um, I don't know two, four, six, eight. I guess you very carefully managed to avoid being within eight. Four, six, eight. So none of my guys in the south are are eligible to move yet. Correct. Okay. I think I think that's all good. And uh, is there anything else we're forgetting, or is it time to just start chucking dice? I think it's time about... to start chucking right. dice. I think. You've come up with your evil and conniving plan? Of course. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. I have a clever plan. Uh, splendid. Um, I, I will be struggling a little bit here because I, um, I've only got one monitor on this computer that actually will connect to Vassal, so just bear with if I, uh, take a little while to find what's going on so all right well then um i don't know since i'm the one who has uh, very few units i guess i'll chuck dice first Sounds for no deal. good reason whatsoever uh plus one to the british yep uh because of uh how's command rating and that is one for the british um and no advance of the end turn marker yeah. All right. So you guys thumb wrestle over that. All right. Well, I'm going to take that one and let's see. We are going to activate um, the guard. Plus the Grenadiers. God, this is a huge board. <laughs> it is a very large map. Oh, it's just scrolling and scrolling. I know he's there. up here somewhere. Where are those? Up guys? there somewhere. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the commander of the guard should be, or yep, should be right there. He's on the third one, yep, that's yep. right. So, and here's and one and one and whatever. So we've, we're in command with them. And then all the independent for the grenadiers and the, yeah, I think it's the, just the grenadiers I need right at this point. Which grenadiers, including the Hessians? Yes. The grenadiers are the three Hessians and the two, the first and second grenadiers. So, all right. Yeah, and everybody's in reach because of the non-command leaders as well as the command leader, so no problem. Right. All right. So, they're in room. Most of these are no dead. disorder to recover. No nope. fire combat to do. Everybody's in command. So march. All right, it's fine. March. Yeah. There's my terrain chart. Okay. So, and the road was two hexes per half, so four per movement point. And since I don't get any extras, all right. So one. One, two, three, four, that's one, two, three, two, two, three, four, three, should be four. Yep, that looks about right, 16 hexes all together. Yep. All right, so let's this. It's still happening. I'm still scrolling up and down. <laughs> and having a hard time. Wait a minute. That There you go. Well, you could I, zoom out a little bit more. Well, yeah, but then everything are just, you know. I mean, I'm on a little laptop now, oh, so I don't gosh. have the same luxury of just, you know, vast acreage. If I zoom out much, well, I guess I can zoom out one more. Probably end up having to. Well, I guess if you hover over, you can see more detail. So, yeah, we'll yeah. make it work. It's mostly a whole bunch of people marching down a road. In <laughs> Boy, road it's columns. mostly a whole bunch of hills and trees. Oh, my gosh. A bunch of them. Indeed. And, uh, okay, so... It's two to go into road column, right? And extend one. Yeah, so one to change formation, and I guess one to extend into the rear hex. Yeah, the difference is uh, is it's not symmetrical. So right. when you go back from right. road column to march column, it's it's just one per hex. I got an extra. Eventually, I'm even going to find that chart. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now they're, they're, 
There is one gotcha to be aware of. I don't need to tell David this, but I'm certainly telling you, Eric. Yeah. That that uh, on the terrain effects chart, you'll see a mention of um, non-clear terrain for disorder checks and series rule 8.7. That would be everything that has an asterisk. Right. And series rule 8.7 is one that kind of burned David in our last game because it makes many formation changes, maybe all of them, honestly, basically consume your entire movement allowance if you do it in non-clear terrain. Oh, interesting. So, um, don't. I, I guess it's, <laughs> it's the message that I would convey to you. Well, and non-clear terrain is going to be things like brambles, wood, swamp, Village. Yeah, even even grades. Yeah, anything with an asterisk after the the name on the terrain effects chart. Oh, okay. So the grades even. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. There's there's all kinds of little notey things here. Mm -hmm. Use other terrain costs. Cost is to move from one grade hex to another. Non clear terrain for disorder checks. Blocked line of sight. Okay. Are you looking on the terrain effects chart in the Vassal module? Nope, I'm looking at the one that I downloaded Are you? Okay. and printed good, out. Because I okay. believe that was the one that we were going with. Um, Agreed. Agreed, it was. It was the more up-to-date. Oh, yes. Yes, quite so. Yes. Very good. Well, anyway, just, just heads up. So, um... There was a gap in the line? Yeah, because there was one guy that uh, wasn't, didn't make it into the road. Oh, code. of course, you're quite right. Yep, you're quite right. Okay, so some stragglers already. Some stragglers well, already. Of course, of course, they've been marching for, what, seven or eight hours, so I, I guess straggling is probably perfectly appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, that it? I think it is, so... Uh, okay. Do you want me to pull out finished ones or? Oh you... yeah, why don't we pull some out? Okay. I mean, it'll it'll matter more as we go on. So now, what is that that you're talking about? So is, is that is that you... just you turn the leader over, or is there something else that you do? Right, but remember, he activated a lot of independent units. All those grenadiers oh. are not part of the guards' command. So strictly speaking, you know, artillery units mostly and other independent units have to activate with a command, but how would you know that they've activated? Uh, so there's oh, a marker. Because they're not you... attached? So they're exactly. not... Exactly. Okay. Right. They, they activate along with a command, but they're not perpetually attached. So flipping right. the commander over doesn't necessarily tell you. Obviously, early enough in the game, there's little enough chaos going on that it's not that hard to remember, but still good practice. probably matters more if you're playing you know the full four maps of Prague or something where there's just madness going on hither and thither I like and I will say and there are occasions called the there are occasions. <laughs> yeah well it's a good name right uh, there are occasions it's pretty you common it the fridge. that the independence that you activate are frequently in the vicinity of the command you're activating but there's no obligation for that to be the case right there were occasions when uh, especially in the last game at monmouth i would intentionally leave some of the dragoons unactivated because i wanted them to be a, a threat in being but then I might say, well, I do need to activate them at some point, so I'll just go ahead and activate them along with this command that's 30 hexes away from them, because who cares, just because i got to do something. Um, so having the, the markers is helpful. Okay, well, I think that's it for that. I rolled one, so... Is there, uh, one, is there one missing? One, one what missing? There, I, there's five grenadier units. 
Where is the other one? Well, you got. Well, like I said, just a, lot, just a lot of. Well, he's talking about the grenadiers specifically. The guards are the first two stacks. You right? got three. Well, there's three Hessian. Oh, there's two Hessians. Three Hessian ones. Yeah, three one, Hessians. Two. There's one here, but where's the other one? There's. It's over here. Right. Oh, Isn't he that went that way. Four? Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. Yep. All right. No, I okay. And he's fine not activating. Yeah, okay. better if he doesn't actually. All, All right. right. Was... Well, there we go. Yep. Check some dice, somebody. Um, All right. I'll press go the button. Go for it, Eric. Well, wouldn't you know it? That's okay. a good one. That's that a, is another that's a great British lava one. tie roll. That's a leader casualty. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess Go it ahead, would be. Roll for uh, that, Michael. It, it, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to roll for a leader casualty. I am going to move the end turn marker up one. Okay. Because that was an 11, so that is uh, greater than 10. All right. So, so another British activation. So I'm going to do the third core. The core? Second. Or third division. Please. What? It says C O R up there. I don't know. You're, you're just you're just a little too impressed with your. That's for Cornwallis. Never mind. Yeah, I think it is. Third brigade division, whatever it is. Those guys. Yeah, gray, command. You call yours a core. I call mine a knit. For K Y N, or Kin. Ah, uh, perfect. The second grenadiers are going to activate with them, and all my lights. So that'll be the first light, the second light, and the Jaegers. All righty. All right. So, oh, let me, I need to. Look at the movement chart for a second. Bear with me. So the easy way from. I just bounced over to the YouTube. And it was an impressive amount of delay. But yeah, I got to hear David usually... describe his turn. Yeah, there's okay, usually twice. about six, six seconds delay from the live stream to YouTube, so six or seven okay. seconds. So, not that it doesn't mean any good. If somebody swears, I can't do anything about it. It's not like television. Basically, you're moving everybody except the, well, everybody, isn't it? Everybody sec except the uh, the uh, um, the second or the fourth brigade. So you're doing the third, but not the fourth, right? Okay, fair enough. Well, I I, I can only do with the third. I only have one activation. So one barely arrived last turn. All right. So okay. uh, now to get. To go from road to march column is just one, right? Or it's whatever one, it is to bring the. the let's take a look. Uh, so, skirmish order eight four H. I I think land formation by playing a skirmish, skirmish marker costs one. So there you go. And it's the first light you're worried about here? Yeah, and uh, then the other thing breaking down into is individual they can, when they... Oh, uh, breakdown is also here. Yep, it's right before that. What, yeah. uh, what number is that? Uh, it's 8.5a, it's on page 13. Got it. Uh, it's got to be in command, not disorder. Um, oh, they can't... 
So they can't break down if they've already used part of their movement allowance? Well, so. I mean, that is what it's saying. I'm, I'm just, uh, I, I think part of the problem is at least, of course, you could then easily just, you know, spend a movement point and spread out into two hexes. And there it says if you're overstacked, it, it actually covers that in that rule. Where's it? Uh, it's uh, if to go into march column you spend another one to go into skirmish and then well you're gonna need to spend one to separate the guys just so they're in different hexes and then that's that's three uh if i'm going to do that initially i'm just going to go i'll bring them eight oh down. i'm going to bring them down the road eight move into uh, oh i take your column and then yes. line to the left. And actually, so I can fix that. And then I can go into line to the left for one. Okay. There we go. One, two, three, four. Now, these Jaegers are still under the restriction of two movement points, right? There were two Jaegers. Right. Yep. Here. And there. All right. Artillery on the road, or... Clear, I guess it would be. 